Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are back with an interesting episode today because we are gonna watch monsters. It is a Chiro Oda's one-shot manga that is apparently connected to One Piece, man. And I'm really excited about that. You guys told me that there is only one episode and I remember uh, one of my patrons, Mr. Line, told me he was very excited when uh, that announcement happened and he was uh, telling me about how there is uh, One Piece anime that will be produced by Wit Studios as well and that there is this uh, series called Monsters that will feature like Oda's one-shot manga and apparently it's connected to zombie samurai Ryuma that we saw in thriller bark man which is pretty exciting because i really liked him and his battle with zoro that was probably one of my favorite things from thriller bark if we uh, don't count the end of thriller bark which was absolutely fantastic man with uh, uma arriving there and with of course brooke's backstory so i'm pretty excited i don't know uh, what to expect other than that it involves Ryuma so let's dive right into it without further ado let's start all right everything is ready and by the way I'm not watching this on Netflix I don't have a Netflix subscription at the moment and I don't feel like getting one only for this one episode so uh, without further ado let's start <laughs> Is that Zoro's voice? Wait, wait, wait. So this is... I thought this was a crown, but it's not. It's horn. Dragon's horn. And it said that Ryuma was the samurai who cut down the dragon, right? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, it's gonna be dragon. Oh my god, it's... is it literally a, gonna be a Ryuma slaying the dragon? Oh my gosh! Let's go! Hey, that's a big, big boy. Or big girl. Oh boy. Is that him? Master Swordsman. It's him. He really straight up looks like a musketeer. And this is what happens when you're not watching on Netflix. I didn't know. I guess they show their names probably. Oh, <laughs> is that him? Yeah. <laughs> See the One Piece drawing style as those samurai manners. <laughs> He's ignored. <laughs> Look at his personality, man. He's funny. The sword. Yo. Ooh, he touched his sword. That's maybe disrespectful. Yep. He's gonna challenge him to duel. And he's gonna lose probably. It's the beginning only of the episode, right? Oh, he's wasting no time. He sliced the statue. He's impressed. Yeah, he is good. Now that I think about it, <laughs> he kind of reminds me of Mikap as well. Which is pretty funny, man. Considering that this guy also kind of reminds me of Zoro. But he's definitely not acting like him. He's very goofier. You're bronze. Mm. Yep, this is definitely drawn by Oda, man. Look at these designs. 
と思う山に囲まれた小さな町が一匹のドラゴンの奇襲を受け一夜にして壊滅したんだジーザスあまりに唐突で最悪のこともできなかった改めて世界がドラゴンの恐ろしさに震え上がった事件だ町にいた人間は全員灰になった町の中から剣士が一人子供を抱いて現れたおーこの子助けるのは Is that the girl? That works in the bear bar. すでに剣豪の名を馳せていたシラノだ。おしい。誰一人近づくこともできなかった。But he didn't fight the dragon. He did. Did he slay the dragon? He doesn't look impressed at all. モエル山にしてただ一人の生き残りが。え？彼女というわけさ。It's her. Yep. The same hair color. あいつが？シラノさんは剣士たちのキングに続くと言われてる。えー、キング、so、the king. キングが世界一強いって評判だからな。It's usually fair for the ruler of the country to be like that good at fighting. ここな俺はそいつらないだろう。なかなか人前に現れないらしいからな。けど、なんだいそのつわものの心って。ハートファボリューハラもたまって足取りも軽い。さっきまで死にそうだったのが嘘みてえだ。偉いなあ,あいつは。He's so chill, man. Until you touch his cupboard. So, is that the person that was walking? Not again, dude. What the fuck? Oh shit, he'll be going again. What is this? He has on eyes. Is that D and R like letters? He didn't do it 100%. This guy is fucking nuts, man. He stepped himself. What a pussy. Get the fuck out of here, clown. I'm taking this whole town with me. Oh boy. He has a fucking horn that we saw at the beginning. Oh no, and of course, that horn is calling the dragon, isn't it? What a crazy mofo! And he didn't have reason, he stabbed himself! He's such a pathetic guy, what the fuck? He broke it! Am I being pranked? <laughs> and now they're gonna blame him. He's clearly not from here. The people are dressed differently. Wild West towns, Wild West movies. Not her, man. Damn. He kinda likes her, right? You murderer! I demand you commit seppuku. <laughs> He's not backing off, though. I mean, it's pretty clear what's gonna happen here. He's about to slay that fucking dragon, and it's gonna be so dope. <laughs> Oh, is that Shivana, dude? No, he confirmed it. That it is the real deal. Bro! If he wasn't present there, he probably came too late. He's ready to face the dragon again. They're gonna team up to take it down. And then this random clown appears, man, and fucking puts the target on this little town. Yeah, it's not a surprise attack if you know it's coming, right? Oh my god. Poor dude. 
He's ready to lay down his life, that's respectable. Okay, Ryuma is definitely, I mean, he had Brook's shadow in the thriller bark and he was acting kinda goofy, but when he Oi. was fighting he was pretty darn good. Did she chose not to evacuate? Yeah, he saved her. Yeah, the PTSD probably from the dragon. I mean, when, I mean, when you say it like that, it really seems ridiculous. But there are some mighty strong characters out there. <laughs> Look at him running. Don't turn back. <laughs> Why are you Wait, what? What the fuck? They are together! He's fucking bitch! Yo, that's why he didn't want her to, to see. Oh my god, man. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that this is written by Oda, man. Ah, bro. That fucking snake. Oh, you know, they're talking shit about him. So the horn is probably not real. But also, I don't know what to think. Wait, what? We can loot as we won like seven years ago. So the dragon will actually come. This is so fucking despicable. Poor girl, bro. Her soul will be completely crushed. She really liked this dude, Shirano. He saved her. I'm surprised that he saved her. They killed those people, what? It wasn't even the dragon who killed them, it's them who killed them. That's wild. He's a demon, man. He killed those people. They are the lowest of the low, man. There she is. Again, I'm surprised that they spared her. He felt a little bit of empathy. Oh no. I have a bad feeling. No, did he not? Oh my god, but this guy is a legit fucking monster. So he, he killed her father, man. And she's getting to hear all of this, man. Imagine how she must feel. Me have my ass, bro. This guy is fucking <sighs> evil, bro. She's composed. Damn, I feel so bad for her, man. No, <laughs> this is gonna be so good, man. Uh, I can already see him taking them down, bro. And even the fucking dragon. Now she's letting it all out. Yeah, all those like past like what seven years have been a lie. He's there listening. <laughs> he got serious. Let's go, bro. Buddy, these clowns. <laughs> Look at him go. Man. I like the way this is animated. <laughs> 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 
Jesus Christ, man. They are giving her huge treatment. <laughs> And the fact that they all believe this bozo. Oh crap. They don't give the heart of a true warrior. Not even close, man. Yeah. Look at this broccoli looking clown. They are psychopaths. Come on, let's go, baby. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, this is so dope. Oh, hell yeah. Off with his hand. Just like that. He's so dope, man. <laughs> All that sword, bro. Oh. So he didn't call the dragon. I'm an outsider. Bro, there it is, a whole fucking dragon. And that's a real dragon, man. It's not like that punk hazard dragon. She just exits and faces the dragon. <laughs> and he will come in to step in and rescue her. Oh, this is about to be so epic. Now you want. <laughs> there he comes. That was such a nice transition. Here we go! <laughs> Ooh. He's on top of it. If it comes. Ooh, let's go! <laughs> oh, just like that. <laughs> yeah, what about the landing? He took it down with such ease, man. <laughs> it's a glorified lizard with wings. And he's so casual, man. It's no fun. <laughs> he's cool. Ryuma I'd repay your kindness even if it cost me my life. He did say that at the beginning. Let's go. <laughs> now she has a proper true hero to admire. Yeah, I was worried about this. I'm glad that they know who did it. Ryuma, there is the name. And they called him. Ryuma the King! Holy shit! With the heart of the world's greatest warrior. Dude, that line gave me chills. With Shusui on his back, man. Not my boy Zoro will. No way that they did that! There he is when he gave the sword to Zoro. They included that shit, man. There he is. The swordsman in mind and body. Samurai of the land of Wano. 
Oh, that was good, man. That was really good. Bro, it's it's a shame that there is only one episode, man. If they made like at least like twelve series with Ryuma, it would be so dope. I genuinely enjoyed that so much. All right, guys, that felt like five minutes. It literally flew by. Really liked the art style as well. It is like uh, one piece, but also it feels like I mean it's new. It's animated recently, right? And I'm on episode uh, 600 and something right now but i really like the art style especially the scene when he i think that uh, the scene of him slaying the dragon was so dope but the scene of him cutting shirano was my favorite and alongside the girl crying and the way they animated that it felt super real and emotional man and it's classic oda storytelling man it's simple and straightforward and then he hits you with this twist man and then uh, he gets you emotional and hyped man it's so good it's so good i really enjoyed it so he did slay the dragon man and with no ease to be honest man he dodged those uh, fire attacks he jumped on dragon he jumped towards his neck and slash man with shusui that is now in zoro's possession and i like like the little touch of zoro receiving the sword at the end and at the beginning Zoro is the one who was narrating the story right and he's clearly the samurai from the land of Mano right he's wandering around the world because this place is definitely not his hometown they're all dressed differently he's following his samurai code right and as Zoro said uh, when samurai loses right they feel ashamed and that's why Zoro said that he will forget that this duel ever happened right because uh, of the samurai pride and the fact that it wasn't really Ryuma right I don't know if he, he could fight to the best of his possibilities while he was in that like zombie but and that scene was so powerful bro I really enjoyed it the the stuff with the dragon horn and that <laughs> dude uh, with funny hair it was really good it's one yet another example that i recognized oda's work right because of how goofy that character looks and <laughs> shirano gave me at first like very stoic mihav vibes the way he handled ryuma inside of the bar right but later on he got bodied and he's nowhere like Mihawk, man, he's terrible. They even reminded me of how they are laughing at Yuji Tadori in Jujutsu Kaisen, man. I felt so bad for the girl, man, especially after it has been seven years and she thinks that this guy Shivano really saved her, but he, she finds out that he actually killed all the people, that they organized attack on the village, and that he killed her parents, man, and the fact that he killed her father after having the daughter close to him and he has like hope he's happy imagine that he was probably feeling very happy thinking that he will be reunited with his daughter and out of that rubble and this guy just stabs him in the head man and kills him which was very very dark man and brutal but they got what they deserve man really nice little episode enjoyed that a lot hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction if you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.